what it is you guys it is the old girl cadillac yes i'm cadillac dixon i'm the draw my life prison wife i'm the legally blind artist that is rapping and painting for justice <sighs> hoping uh, to see justice before it all fades to black yes it's your girl cadillac anyway it's coming through september the 15th girl i just robbed keto to pay wall <laughs> to pay mom to pay paul girl i'm trying to, i'm trying to say i just robbed kita to pay paul that's what i was trying to say i'll think it back to when i robbed kita to pay walmart <laughs> but anyways what i mean by that girl ends ain't even close to me how the heck am i gonna survive yeah i know i'm working but why i can't get food stamps too tamika and candy get them and they ain't got no job to go to <laughs> y'all know i always gotta insert a little rap but for real um i just paid back um a money loan girl you know that you hitting it hard when you having to go to those payday loan places um, so I just paid mine back and you know, you got to come back a few days later to come back and get it right girl. But the way I do get myself out of it, I had to take a large amount. Um, when I was moving, I didn't have the funds to move. Um, I had to rent a rental truck, um, a moving truck. I had to get storage. Storages are almost as much as rent should be. Uh, it's ridiculous just to house your stuff. <laughs> they charge you all that money. Um, so I had to get two storages because now the bigger storage that you could back get back in the day, you can get a half of that, like a half small storage for what you more than what you would have paid back in the day. Right. Everything is ridiculous. So they know we barely making it. So the way that I have barely made it, um, you know, I moved out my apartment, so I don't have my rent right now. Um, moving from my dad to my daughter to couch surfing girl, but just give me a little corner somewhere and I'll be good. Um, so, but even after not having the rent, I still, the little other bills that I have, like the storage, the, um, gas for my car and um i have credit cards and stuff like that i'm still not even making it check to check so that's crazy um back in the day i at least always lived paycheck to paycheck now i'm living paycheck to no check because <laughs> i'm broke two days after i done got paid girl so i just paid that back but the way i get myself out of it is i walk myself down so say i took um, a larger amount um, I pay it back and then when I come back I have to um, because you can't take that blow of losing that much out your check so they know you're coming back that's the trap so I'll take less the next time and I'll walk myself all the way down so now I am down to a low enough amount amount that I might can struggle through and not have to come back um, to take one um, hopefully lord willing girl so now um i have maybe four hours before i gotta go to work so you gotta squeeze your life into you know insert pieces of your life around work because work is the most important thing in our lives i hate that girl i was watching on tiktok i am not crazy y'all think i'm crazy i'm not crazy I am not the only one that understands that this ish ain't making no sense. I make more than I've ever in my life. And I am the poorest that I have ever been in my life. Makes no sense. Just 10 years ago, I made about $3 less than what I made. And girlfriend was living good. I was paying my rent. I was paying my gas, my lights. I was taking money everywhere because she was spoiled, girl. I was paying my car insurance. I was paying my car note. How was I paying everything? Gas in the car. And I still had money after my check, after I paid my bills. 